So what do you think? Does the Bible agree that a picture is worth a thousand words? We say that. Is it true? Because um, pictures are visualizing. It's imagination. And, and so many are afraid of visualizing an imagination, and some know nothing about it. Well, I think the Bible does agree that a picture is worth a thousand words. The Bible tells me to fix my eyes upon Jesus, and the Bible tells me that I'm transformed while I look. Not at things which are seen, but things which are not seen. And for many years I had never thought about looking into the unseen world. And what is there in the unseen world that can transform me? Well, it's seeing Jesus in action. Saying, Lord, would you show me what you're doing here in this situation, letting him show me, and me saying, yes, Lord, I'll do that. And for me, that has become the number one agent of transformation in my life. I'm transformed while I look at Jesus in the unseen world doing things, and I say, yes, Lord, I will go ahead and do the same things. And the, the Lord said to me, he said, Mark, he said, whatever you fix your eyes upon grows within you. Whatever grows within you, you become. So he's been teaching me for 30 years to use the eyes of my heart to receive dream and vision and godly imagination. And I want to share this with you because it's the, one of the most powerful truths I have di ever discovered because a picture is worth a thousand words. That's why Jesus talked in parables all the time because he knew the power of a picture story. That's why the Bible is a picture book. And that's why the command to meditate on my word day and night, Joshua 1.8, that Hebrew word for meditate, which shows up 24 times in the Bible, includes the meaning of to visualize or to imagine. And I didn't know that. For many years I read the Bible with no purpose to visualize or to imagine what I was reading. But now I do purpose to visualize and imagine because that's part of biblical meditation and I have been commanded 24 times to meditate on the Word of God. And so in this article we're going to show you that the Hebrew meaning of that word does include visualize and meditation. We're going to teach you some simple steps to get you started in it. And uh, then we're going to end up with a, a series of about a dozen blogs which takes you into all different aspects of visualizing and, and how I use picturing and how I use dream and vision as I approach God. David did it. David said he beheld the Lord in his sanctuary. Uh, and David said, I have, I have put you at my right hand. So I believe he's picturing him right there at his right hand all the time. And I'm doing the same thing. I want you to do, do the same thing because the Bible says we're transformed while we look. I want you to learn to use vision. I want you to learn to look. And if this blog and, and the ones attached to it bless you, I'd love you to pass it on to Christian brothers and sisters so they too can learn the power of living in pictures and realize the Bible says a picture is worth a thousand words.